Okay, after we finish uh, cloner, it's the time to explain the fields. The fields is special for the cloner, but yeah, you can use it a lot in Cinema 4D, in uh, a lot of uh, places in Cinema 4D. So, uh, the first usage of the, um, uh, <clears throat> the fields that are here, you can use them as controller for controller for strings, string controller of, of effectors. For example, if you <clears throat> assign a plane effector here, as you can see, it goes all of the uh, cloner up because in a parameter, it has 100 centimeter up. <clears throat> and now, as you can see, it goes to all of the cloner. We want to control this parameter that is the position. For controlling that, we can use a field. In some places in Snow 4 that I show you now, you can find a field and use the fields. For example, here you can add a field also, or you can use it here. If you select a plane and you are in a plane in a field, you can assign the first the linear i will explain them one by one but you can select the linear just as I want to introduce as you can see you can see the linear uh, control of the strings of that that i will explain it more don't worry uh, this is the first usage of the uh, linear uh, the uh, fields another usage of the uh, linear is for controlling the forces for example we have a rotation force for example we have a rotation force and as you can see we have a base coordination coordination object and a field you can control the rotation force with a field it means you can control the fall off of the strengths of that common with a field so another place of fields are here Another place of the fields are in a, uh, deformers. I explained them before, but here is a deformers, for example. And as you can see, we have given a, a lot of examples for that. With a field, uh, let's see, explain you here. It's very easy. For example, we have a new scene that I need, don't need to. Uh, I have a play. Um, a box here that I want to show you. <clears throat> you can uh, sorry. You can select the graph shading line. Yeah, we need in this direction. I explained them before, but you can hold and shift to bend it. In a bend, as you can see, we have a also field option. In an object, you can change the angle to an strings. Mm, angle no just strings and as you can see you can control this bending by animation animating that strings or using field as a controller of these strings okay you can control this effect this parameter by the field you can for example use a field as a linear as you can see if you uh if you are in here from this uh, plane to the infinite, we have 100% of that parameter that you set in a object of any common. And if you select the linear field and move it, as you can see, uh, this is a fall off. We have a fall off to uh, from this plane to infinity, we have 100% strings. We have a, in a fall off. We have a fall off that I explained you with a remapping. We go into the zero, and from this plane to the, this direction, we have a zero percent of that comment. And as you can see, we are going to the zero comment to that. Okay. So this is a different between the difference between the changing the strengths. With changing strengths, we have a this situation. Okay. But in a field, you can control the points of that moving. Okay, this is one benefit of the fields that you can using the in a bend. Okay, you learn all the bend deformer 
and in any of them that hasn't filled i will explain in this series of tutorial fields after you learn how to use field what is this prop uh, these settings uh and all of them you can now learn the fields okay if you select the fields we have its settings here <clears throat> that i explained them one by one okay we can a little make it bigger okay this is one benefit of the field another uh, place to use the fields it's here for example if you select some points we have this option here and in a point mode in a for example a brush uh, you can for example use a selection you can select some you can select some uh, points and for example then uh, store the selection and as you can see in a selection in a selection tags we have a field again we have a field that i will give you a lot of inter interesting example here you can turn on use fields okay you can control the selection by the fields or you can in a uh, weight map for example you are going to um, the tools i think yeah you, you can paint it as a vertex map you can select the plane as you can see you can uh, s paint a vertex map here and as you can see if you select the vertex map we have another thing another option that you can turn the field on and the field tab turn on again so in these places you can use the field so if you learn a field in this series tutorials then you can use it but in a in the vertex map and the control map you have to we have to give you uh, examples about the uh, fields okay uh, another to um, next lesson we are going to explain the uh, fields type that you can select them lengths and what are you doing here in a plane in a field digs we have a uh, some situation some settings here clamps i explain them okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release